Hi, I'm Brian Rossi. I'm going to bring a really interesting video to you today and share an article with you that was on BizNow. This is the 10 oldest LEED certified buildings in America. And why is that interesting to me? Well, in 2014, I received my LEED Green Associate certification, and so I followed this up to some degree. And when we think of LEED certified buildings, they could be uh, certified, silver, uh, gold, and the highest, which is platinum. Uh, we think of the newest, most efficient buildings, not old buildings. That's why I found this article to be interesting, and I'm going to jump over here to the screen in just a second and show you the article and go through the 10 oldest LEED certified buildings and tell you a little bit more about LEED. So join with me right over here on this screen. So here I am, I'm in the lower corner of the screen, and thanks for joining me on this page where we're going to go through the BizNow article, and I'll link this article below in the video description. And I'm going to run through the, the 10 oldest buildings. So LEED certification is a rating system of efficient buildings. It's an official process that a building owner could go through to achieve a certain rating and therefore a certification, whether it be certified, silver, gold, or the highest being platinum. And the um, uh, the, the, the governmental body, or, or I should say, just the organization that, that, that runs the rating system and therefore LEED itself, and of course LEED stands for uh, Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. Um, that organization is the USGBC, and the USGBC is the United States Green Building Council. So let's jump right into the article and see the 10 oldest buildings in the U.S. that are LEED certified. And so number 10, counting down, Dallas Hall, Southern Methodist University, Dallas. So it's built in 1912, and its status is LEED Gold. Uh, it was certified 2015. I'm not going to run through all the details of this, but I, I want to invite you to go to this article um, by the link below. Go visit this now and see this article if you want to read up more details on the buildings. I'm just going to run through the list to make this a faster video. And that is uh, number nine, West 135th Street um, Apartments, New York. So when I, I'm in commercial real estate, I think of lease certified buildings. I'm automatically thinking about office buildings because I'm an office broker and, I, and all my clients are office tenants and, uh, and landlords of office buildings. I don't even think about apartments, but certainly apartments can be lease certified, right? So uh, yeah, that was built in 1910, wow. Certified in 2012. Number eight, uh, One North Dearborn, Chicago. Uh, 1909 it was built and certified in 2017. This is brand new, LEED Gold. Okay, great. 40% energy reduction. All right, let's, all right, mouse work. All right, Sullivan Center in Chicago, uh, 1882, uh, 2009 certified. Number eight, Colorado State Capitol, Denver, 1909, certified in 2008. Number five, the Rookery Building in Chicago. Wow. Number four. Did we jump from five to four? Okay, I guess we're in order. I lost track there. 20 North Michigan, uh, what, no street? No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't live in Chicago, so I, I 20 North Michigan. And I, <laughs> seems like it's missing avenue or place or something, but anyway, Chicago. 1882 is built. Lead Platinum, the highest level. All right, good for them, wow. That's high energy efficiency right there. Number three, Westinghouse Air Brake Factory, Pittsburgh. Hmm, 1869, so this is really, a, looks like, I guess, a warehouse. Interesting. Number two, New York State Executive Mansion, in Albany, New York. Built in 1856, LEED certified gold. And I guess number one, well, that makes sense. The U.S. Treasury Building in Washington, D.C. That's right next to the White House. That's built in 1842, and it was certified in uh, 2011 as a lead status uh, gold. So there you have it. You've got all 10. And I want to say something really quickly about lead certified buildings, and that is it's a rating system, and it costs money. you got to put a lead, certified, uh, a lead team together to go through the process with the U.S. GBC um, to... Um, up, you know, to, to successfully achieve the LEED certification. The, the designation really becomes a marketing choice for a, 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 an owner of a building. There are many building owners that have taken the steps to make their building very friendly in terms of the environment and very efficient so it lowers the operating cost. Now what does that mean for you as a tenant? Well, first of all, people think LEED certified buildings cost more. 
well, they actually might be less expensive to run. Therefore, technically, you could get a lower rental rate, all else being equal. And that's what, and that's not because they, the landlord got a certification and get to put a stamp on it for marketing purposes. It's just simply because they made decisions to have a environmentally friendly and a, a fuel efficient, energy efficient building. Now that's a separate choice. The lead certification is more of a marketing choice, as I said. And what it gives you the ability to do is to say, I'm lead this, this, or that. And, uh, and that, and that, that kind of uh, gives a rating system that helps tenants make a decision about the efficiency levels of a building. But you can ask for operating expenses and make your own determination how efficiently run the building is compared to another building. You can make them apples and apples and make a decision. There is added cost, of course, and time to get the lease certifications. Whereas just creating a, 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 an energy efficient building is a wise business decision for landlords. And the cost is higher for lease certifications primarily because you usually associate them with newer buildings. But newer buildings are the reasons why they're more expensive, not because the lease certification. So if you're gonna rent a building that was built last that was built last year and compare renting space in that building to a building next door that was built 10 or 15 or 20 years ago, of course the newer building costs more. And so it's more common you would find that newer buildings have these lease certifications because that's an ideal time when you're building it, designing it and building it to get into the process. Retrofitting an older building is much more rare and you can see that's why this article was interesting to go through these old buildings that are LEED certified. Now, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you're interested, leave a comment below about anything, any input to what I've said here. If you got anything to add, love to hear or read what your comments are. Maybe others would like to see what the comments are. So by all means, leave a comment down below. If you'd like me to do a more in-depth uh, video tutorial on on a, an overview of the lead uh, rating system or lead certifications, by all means, say so. I can consider doing that in the near future. And lastly, subscribe to this channel. If you like videos like this, then subscribe. Then that helps support the channel. Let's me know I should do more videos like this. And also, um, uh, there's a little bell next to the subscription button. Click that, and then you'll be notified the next time I upload a video to YouTube. So thanks for joining me here, and have a great week. Want to learn more about Rossi Commercial Real Estate? Well then watch some of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you'll be notified when new videos from Rossi Commercial Real Estate are uploaded to YouTube.